I'm Kathy. I am the Adult Services Librarian at the Waynesville Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make Pennsylvania Dutch Chicken Ribble Soup. So you may not have ever heard of ribbles, um, so let me explain them to you. They're like a little dumpling, sort of uh, like spatzel, and they're real simple to make, and it's a lot of fun to make them, so you could do it with your kids. And um, so let me, before I make the, the dough for that, let me just tell you real quick, I've got a pot of chicken broth here. It's um, at a full rolling boil. I made it this morning um, from legs and thighs, a little bit of carrot, celery, and onion. Um, the way that I make broth is a little different than some people, so you might want to look at my recipe online. Um, it's a great way to keep the meat uh, in the soup from drying out. So um, it's at a rolling boil now. We've got two and a half cups of uh, all-purpose flour here, two eggs that have been beaten with a fork, if your dough is a little on the dry side, you just need to add a little bit of water. The texture you're going for here is like a, a slightly tacky, shaggy dough. Needs a little bit of water. It's real simple. It doesn't have to rest before you drop it in the broth. Flour helps to thicken up the soup a little bit. You can make these any size you like in our family. Um, we like them about uh, two inches long and about the size of a drinking straw, um, but some people like them real tiny. Drop them in the broth just like that. This is what the texture of the dough looks like when it's ready to drop into the broth. It's shaggy and um, kind of unformed, and so you just form it with your hands when you drop it in the broth. As you can see, they float. You can make them as small or as large as you like. When we were kids, we would always fight over the big rivel. Every once in a while, there'd be a real big one that would get into the pot. But you can make them however you like. It's very rustic, so don't worry about the appearance of each one, because they're all gonna be a little different. You drop them in, and I would continue to do this with this whole bowl of dough here. And then it takes about 20 minutes, depending on the size of your ribbles. If you do some real small ones, they'll be done sooner. But for the size that we're making today, it's going to take probably about 20 minutes. So uh, we'll show you what they look like when they're done. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to pull one of these larger dumplings out and cut it in half because I want you to be able to see what it looks like if it's not quite done so that you'll be able to gauge. If you can see the inside of it is still very dry, you can see the flour inside of it. So it's just not quite ready. So we're gonna cook this for about 10 more minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like when they're completely done. And to finish off the soup, we'll add the chicken. See you in a few minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and we're going to test another one of these ribbles to see if they're done. I'm going to cut this open so you can see the inside of it and it's done. So it doesn't have that little white bit inside anymore, it's completely cooked through. So now we're ready to turn the heat off and add our chicken, which is already cooked because we used it to make the broth this morning the chicken in, stir it around a little bit, but you don't have to continue boiling because the chicken's already cooked through and that will keep it from drying out. So, so this is a beautiful cup of chicken ribble soup. If you have any questions at all, just email me at kathleen.olson at haywoodcountync.gov and the recipes uh, are always available on the library's webpage. Just um, go to haywoodlibrary.org, hover over services, and go to virtual programming. Thanks for watching.